I went up to a home of two wow. doctors that night. The next morning, the doctor came into the room. He said, Tammy, come and look at the television in the other room. That was the morning of September 11th, 2001. So as the second plane plowed into the Twin Towers in New York City, my whole world was falling apart in Jamaica. Wow. Right? So everything. And, and wow. I think we can all say that we remember exactly where we were at that moment. And I yeah. will absolutely never forget. Um, and I think where healing really began for me, as I started to try to put the pieces all together at that time, even being stuck in Jamaica because all flights were grounded, I headed to Kingston where Trent and I were originally planning on going. Only now I walked into the same hotel with my father-in-law who had made it to me the night before. He, he was the only oh. one that made it to me. So we got adjoining rooms. And the next day he wanted to go back to the Blue Lagoon and I couldn't go. I stayed behind. I just didn't have the strength. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I realized he was gone and I was alone, I found myself just weeping again in the bathroom, just saying, God, do you see this girl? Do mm. you hear me? If you're real, could you send me somebody that would hold me? I'm not asking for a hundred angels, a thousand, just one angel that would just hold me and comfort me. Could you do that for me, God? Mm. And I remember feeling something like, get up and just move. Tammy, just move. Don't, don't, don't just stay in this bathroom. So I got up and I started to move through this room and I could hear somebody in the adjoining room. And when I got there, I looked up and I saw this beautiful Jamaican woman standing there in a Hilton housekeeping outfit. And I looked at her and I said, ma'am, I said, could you come in and just make my bed? Could you just come in and make my bed? And she said, I could hear you crying. And I've been trying to get to you. She said, could I just come in and hold you? Oh. I was like, yes, I think I cried. I think I laughed. I was like, yes. Oh. And she walked in, she wrapped her arms around me. She started praying for me. She didn't know what was going on in my life. Uh, she didn't know the details of it. I didn't know she was a believer. She didn't know I was one, but I sat there in that wow. moment, in that embrace. And I thought, Brenda, for the first time, I thought I had no idea angels wore Hilton mm. house outfits. I would have called her sooner. Oh, right. But oh. that was the healing that I know beyond a doubt was when the healing began because I chose mm -hmm. to receive it. I asked God yeah. for something specific. He mm -hmm. showed up in the form of this woman saying, I'm here. And I felt mm -hmm. it. And I knew that that was a pivotal moment for me to accept my healing and to walk in it. Now, it didn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. but I knew that this was the beginning and it was going to be yeah. hard work and it was going to be a lot of right. sacrifice and surrendering and laying down and a lot of kicking and screaming. But the healing began, that journey began for me right at that moment of choosing to allow God to rescue me.